Hello, my friends. When forest monks first come to Rewild University, they get to do a cleanse diet. And the real thing we're trying to get out of their system is sugar. As more and more evidence comes out, we're seeing that the levels of sugar that most of us consume are just really not good for us. Of course, there's sugars in almost everything, and it's arguably a very important part of our diet, but we're eating way too much of it, probably. When forest monks go off of it, most of them notice that there is a withdrawal period, but then they start feeling really good. More clarity of mind, more energy, just a strong feeling of vitality. Rebecca, myself, and our two girls, Mirabelle and Liliana, are doing a month sugar-free. What sugar-free means is that we're not doing added sugars. We don't really eat any processed foods, but if we would eat a processed food, and if you do, this is very important, to look at that label and be aware of the many names for sugar and making sure that there's no added sugar in there. It's probably in your breads, in crackers, um, peanut butters, all kinds of regular products that you wouldn't expect to have sugars probably have sugars in them. And we are not eating dried fruit because it's kind of a condensed sugar. So for us, it means we're not adding maple syrup or honey to any of our salad dressings that we make or stir fries or anything like that in our, in our sauces. We're trying to just cut out any excess sugar, just eat a whole food diet. But for you, if you would like to come along on this challenge with us, it's for one month and it means no added sugars. So read your labels. Don't add sugar to your tea or coffee, no honey, no maple syrup. Just the sugars that you'd find in fruit or otherwise naturally occurring in your food. Even uh, if you eat meat, you're gonna see in most processed meats or deli meats, there's gonna be added sugar. It's all over the place. Of course, this means cutting out the big sugar sources like pop, fruit juice, ice cream, snack bars, <laughs> that sort of thing. We would love to have you join us. It's kind of a challenge that we would like to put forth before you. If you would like to, in the comments, say, I'm going for it, and then report in. Let us know how it's going for you. Remember that sometimes when comments are threaded, I don't see them because of the amount of comments we get on all of our videos. It just gets buried and, and I don't see them. So start a new comment when you report in and tell us how it's going after a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. I think if you do this, you're going to be really surprised. A, you're going to feel a lot better. But B, you're going to find that after just a week, two weeks without those added sugars, you're going to start noticing that a lot of the regular foods that you didn't think of as sweet before actually are quite sweet. So uh, an apple, even if it's more on the sour variety, you're going to notice that it has a lot of sugars in it. If you drink milk, you're going to have a glass of milk and notice that it's extremely sweet. Carrots are another one that people will eat and be completely surprised at how sweet they are. Sweet is a wonderful flavor. It's present in so many of our foods quite strongly. But because we add so much additional sugar, we're unable to taste or sense those wonderful natural sweetnesses. So, this is my challenge for you. Go for it. Let me know in the comments. If you're going to do it, and then, as I said, report in in a non-threaded comment at week one, two, three, and four, if you like. All right, my friends. Can't wait to hear from you. Talk with you soon.
Let's try sugar-free for a month.